Hi, my name is Daniel from Vocal Booth to Go and welcome in today's video. Today we will talk about reflection filters and as you could see I'm not going to praise them. Let's explain. Reflection filters, sometimes also called portable acoustic booths, uh, which in my opinion is name absolutely exaggerated, should absorb the reflection from your voice. Your voice, just like any other sounds, travel in waves and bounce back from any surface you have in the room, from some better and some worse. As you could hear, the sound in this room is absolutely horrible, but it's on purpose, it's the perfect environment to test the reflection filters. The functionality of reflection filter has several problems. Due to its size and material, it absorbs barely 1% of the sound you emit, and only in one direction. As I already told you that the sound travels in waves, and the waves goes all around you, not just in front of you. So to have reflection filter in on front of you is uh, really almost useless. And even if you would have the best reflection filter in the world, which absorb 100% of the sound you emit, it protects the least sensitive part of the microphone, its back. The most sensitive part is of course that one you talk to and uh, no reflection filter is behind your back. But enough talking, let's put it on. So reflection filter is on and I don't know, can you hear the difference? Because I can't. The last but not least problem is that uh, the reflection filter takes up a large part of your view and you have nowhere to put your text. I would usually have text right here, but it's not possible right now. This is a really huge issue, especially for voiceover artists, as uh, reading the script is an uh, essential part of their practice. In order to not say only negatives, uh, the reflection filter could be helpful sometimes, but it's only in really specific situations. For example, when you have fully equipped acoustic studio, it's that cherry on top. But if you're starting out or really need to massively improve your acoustics, uh, I really can't recommend it. There are better things which will help you more for the same amount. I already see the comments, you used a low quality filter, mine is much better. The problems I named are fundamental from physical point of view and valid for all reflection filters. I used many reflection filters in my life, but for purposes of this video I used just one. But uh, the result would be the same if I used any other reflection filter, trust me. Luckily, there is a real portable acoustic booth. Vomo from Vocal Booth to Go. As you can see, uh, while recording in Vomo, you are surrounded from all sides, so you don't have to worry about reflections. But enough talking and let's go in. So as you can hear, the sound is noticeably better. Of course, it's still not perfect, but let's not forget that we are in completely empty room with tremendous echo. So that should be enough for the example and I'm heading out again. And that would be enough for this video. If you want to view Vomo and much more, look at vocalboost2go.eu. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and see you next time. Bye.